at A and B, and I'm on the Fast Hem stand now. Timu, you've got a brand new concept here. It's always about innovation. What is it you brought to the show, and well, why? Well. We are introducing a, a new alternative to an age-old uh, uh, productivity challenge of turning machines with turrets. And we're applying a new technology from Sauter, uh, the Solid Pro, which is a turret tool changer unit. And we're applying it in now in our concept cell so that the robot can change the tools automatically. This helps us to increase the automated um, unmanned period and also if you are running a higher mix of production it helps you increase the mix that you can do with your um, with your turning machine without human interventions so it's all about time ultimately yeah. saving yeah. time what is it that people are doing kind of wrong now or could be doing better then well there are quick change technologies on the market for turn turret turnings um, turning machines but uh, uh, they're not kind of directly universally applicable. Uh, this new technology is also able to be retrofitted to old machines with, for example, VDA uh, interface in the turrets. And then you, so then you can kind of think about putting a robot system in there and uh, also improving the productivity associated with the tooling with this one. Okay, before we see the software, how does it all work? Well, it all works by, well, in the gripper we have a two-finger gripper unit for the tool handling. So gripping the tools, removing them from the uh, quick change interface. And then we have a screwdriver in the, in the gripper units to open and close the bolt that is op uh, releasing then the tool and reclamping it again. Okay, let's go back to the user then, right? What is it that people are doing on a day-to-day -day basis with tool changing? What, what's re the reality of it? Well, if, if you don't have any uh, quick change system in the, in the turrets, you might be spending let's say five minutes per tool to yeah. changing of the holder, then redialing it. And then maybe that takes around 20 minutes per, 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 per time per yeah. change to do it. So it's a lot of time that you're losing because the machine is not producing while you're doing that. And with this kind of quick change technologies, you're able to do that in mere seconds or, or kind of a, at a fraction of the time. You absolutely and are. You can also automate it. So it ex extends your unmanned period you can get from the from the automated units without human intervention. I mean, FastTems as a whole, you're always talking about succeeding in automating CNC production, aren't you, in systems. Yeah. And you're not only going from the bigger picture, but this is going right into the machine, isn't it? Yeah, but in true FastTems style, we all always want to bring the MMS twist into things. So also with this demo, we're, we have the MMS running in that is taking care of the coordination of the production. We have a little, turning machine simulator built in here so that we can actually change the work pieces in there. And the MMS is telling us when are we running out of tools and then kind of how the operator should prepare for the changes also in, in with the automated use. So just to bring it that little bit of FastEMS flair. Who needs this and why? Well, if you're thinking about improving the productivity of your turning machine, this is a very, very good kind of starting point where do you think about, okay, how to work better with tools how to improve working with the tools in order to unleash more productive time from the machine. Wouldn't you rather be making that hour extra per day that Absolutely. you're now spending for wasted time on the, on the working on the turret? And Timu, that's profit at the yeah, end of the day. In the end, more money in the bank, more products out of the door, yeah. and less hassle for the operators.